And then the little, my little flashy thing, because they're fucking with my memory again, talking about you had missed the, reached the, the max size of your video or storage or whatever the fuck ever. Let's go on. Beginning in this country. A human male. And being rule your country. And will be responsible for destruction. <laughs> motherfucking Americans, bro. Well, great. Just tell us who he is and we'll kill him. You idiot. That is changing fucking history. They can't tell you a fucking name. They can't tell you a motherfucking number to call. <laughs> In a few years, yeah, yeah, let's track this number down. <laughs> no, it don't work like that. And you see how they are also working with no emotions. Yeah, you don't know. He's looking at a piece of his reflection. <sighs> Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. So. I can I get so hard. My race snatches we off. That's what I'm about to do. So, he said it will be a male and he will be responsible for starting nuclear war. Now, as I recap on the deleted video of what Young Pharaoh was saying, oh, well, just talking so ignorantly. Let's, um, what was he saying? Oh, China, y'all need to stop it. And da, 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 da. But you're a Trump supporter, though. Like, you, you just don't, you don't know when to stop. You don't know when to, uh, stop being so damn controlling. Picking on people, plotting on people, beans, beans, it should not be fucked with. Shit, at this point in time, I wouldn't doubt that that was just a part of this nigga right here. One of his relatives, a part of him, probably, or his future self. They cannot change history through murder. Now I'm starting to feel like this being could have fucked up in the past and tried to fix something that they fucked up. You should see the look of sorrowfulness on the face of this being.
dude, it's sorry. It's like, I, dude, I cry for my enemies. Like, even still, like, it's fucking crazy. Because I know God is giving chances. But even God get tired. melting it's hot so like like I feel sorry for them because like they still even trying to come back into this time and change history without fucking it up But it's like, it's tricky. Because it's like, are they really here to help? I, I know some are here to help, and then there's some that are just not here to give a fuck. But yet, this being was caught and tortured. And the way fucking America fucking handles fucking shit. America just, their torture tactics are fucking stupid. And it's like, that's why God tells us to have patience. You know what I mean? And even though I've learned a lot more patience, I'm still learning patience. And a lot of these fucking cops, a lot of these other beings and shit, people in corporations, they, they're not taught patience. They're, they're taught corporation. Work like a robot. Get it perfect. Get it right. Or you're fired. Uh, 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 uh. You're not allowed for any error, mistake, uh, mishap, nothing. Do you, could you imagine like somebody running like that all the time? How motherfucking schizophrenic and how fucking fucked up and dysfunctional they're gonna be? My chest is heavy right now. Like somebody, more than somebody is just feeling this. Like. It's that deep. This this is so deep, deeper than what people can fuck imagine. And this was a part of my awakening when I seen this video, and then I seen the video where the guy was like, "They took us to the future," and I like my friend stayed back in the future. Um, and I just have to make it to, what do you say, 2002, 2020? If I'm not mistaken, he was like, I had to make it to 2020. <clears throat> he was like, I got to make it to 2020. And how there's like, there's portals and shit in the water. That's how people get them up missing. There's a, these high vibrational beings, these spiritual beings are snatching people and taking them to different portals in the water. That's how I'm with the shit that's going on right now. <laughs> I was like, oh, I want to go. I want to go. I was like, I want to go. But right now, Hell, fuck no. I will not go. I just... Right now, I wouldn't get no fucking water. 
and then they're making everything even more toxic and all kind of fucked up shit right now. I would just, I don't want to be in no fucking water. I just don't, because I, I'm, I'm so fucking aware that it's not even funny, like, it, I can't even express how much I am aware, but I've expressed some of my downloads and what it consisted of, and it was things that I couldn't even, couldn't even really describe, I just knew I cried to the heavens, because I was just like, I cannot stand this hate, I can't stand this confusion, this turmoil, this dysfunction, I can't stand it, like, I don't want this no more, I cried to God, like, I was just, cried to my higher self, I was just like, I'm just, you know, I just want some balance <laughs> what the fuck and I had learned how to get balance and stay balanced and rebalance and repatience and all kind of other shit like people understand I I guess I make it look easy and people be jealous as hell but nobody knows the tears that I've cried, the thoughts that I've had, except for God, <laughs> quite honestly, God knows how much and how hard I have fought in order to be in the position that I am now, spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, in mind, body, and soul, it's not been fucking easy. It's been everything but fucking easy. You know, it's like, um, accepting your perfect imperfections and fucking not caring if anybody else does or doesn't. You know, it's you, what you feel like, what you do, what you want. That's all that matters. And especially if you're doing it in, in, in God's ways and God's eyes. That's what God wants. I have to really say fuck everybody else. I, I honestly, that's how I truly feel because at the end of the day, is it not nature that provides everything that we have stolen and, and taken for granted? We don't have our tribes no more. We don't have, we had tribes before we had counseling, before we had fucking hospitals. We had tribes, we had people that that had the knowledge and the wisdom. How do they think that these fucking hospitals and shit, these counselors, these fucking psych ward hospitals, how do they think they got their goddamn fucking information from? Y'all so fucking disrespectful. These corporations, how do you think you got the business mind concept of that? Y'all took things from what was natural and y'all made it acidic. How do you think you got anything that you got today? If it didn't come from who you were connected to on a soul level. Move it on. They said, just tell me what what he does. So they pretty much want to know what he does for work. Even the, I watched a video in from Area 51. They was asking this man all kind of retarded ass questions that they could have got him killed and fucked up. They were asking him, how many times have you been to Area 51? How many times have fucking... Shit, they might as well ask him how many times they cl he clocked in to work. Was he a visitor or did he stay there? Did he live there?
like these be some insensitive assholes to be asking these questions and should know fucking better if they have any type of experience with homeless security motherfucking witness protection that's just like fucking the Jennifer Lopez movie enough y'all gonna watch enough that's some shit that I had to do and that's fucking crazy because I actually seen that movie before me and my ex-husband had got married in some way some fucking how I knew that that shit was gonna happen already the spirit had already pretty much showed me but I just was not really consciously consciously aware but now that I'm thinking back at it the spirit was already warning me the fuck <laughs> and then not only that it's just like what's going on right in here and now today my fucking crazy lunatic ass goddamn was divine masculine has been ripped to shreds mind body and soul and refuses to come back so I don't know what to do I mean I can't do shit about that at all. That's out of my control. That's only something that God can do and only himself can do. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I'd rather keep healing and staying on my journey because I don't have time for nobody that does not want to heal. You know, it actually came up in my, my reading and it was consistent someone that is willing to heal, continuing to heal, you know, admitting their flaws, healing them, and, you know, just being consistent about that shit. So, moving on, I'm going to, like, obviously I had to say that for a reason, but regardless of the fact, um, you should always be on a, a healing journey should always be on a healing journey and do that for your generations because if not then you know um, it could just not be a, a very good thing and I just I don't think I'm better than nobody. I just know that I strive for what I strive for from me and my children, like all day, every fucking day, every night. And I have to think about, you know, what decisions am I gonna make that's gonna keep me stable? What thoughts am I gonna have that's gonna keep me stable? You know, how to transmute my energy in order to stay stable in all many ways and forms of fashion. Just tell me what he does. That's what he's talking about. Public and religious. Wait. Political and religious dogma uh, by promoting fear and promoting lower vibrational energies. What does he do? This is what he does. He promotes fear, political, religious dogma.
global nuclear war. He said, only a million survive. I'm guessing that's the million that didn't take the fucking shot. It was just five, five, five. He said he is the evolutionary result. But remember, the devil's greatest trick was to to trick everyone that he did not exist. So, if only a million survive, I'd be hitting that shot. Because I know out of most spiritual beings that survive, not getting the shot, like literally like not getting the shot, that's what I'm referring to. Like, I've not gotten a shot. And that was another trick they wanted to use and say that, you know, they wanted to get our elders all up in arms saying that, oh, well, you know, you guys, if you don't get that shot, you want to pass it on to us and get us sick and all that. That's another form of dogma. You know, uh, because they're not, they're unaware of how they can naturally heal themselves homeopathically, uh, spiritually. Shit, I mean, let's be real about it. If you didn't have no herbs, what would you be turning to? Quite literally, people have the um, capability, like. It's the Picking and Lucy, the, and that's exactly what I got downloaded yesterday, too. That purple, what is it, the blue that turned into the purple? Like, how they, they gave her that stuff, and that was supposed to kill her, but only it would only kill a certain percentage, and then the other percentage, it would, it would make them, like, really fucking smart, and whatever they wanted her to be, like, a little rat in their fucking army, right? She pretty much refused. She was really smart. She was evolving really quick. 
Lucy, that movie, it's like another derivative of Slash Eve and Lilith. Um, why do I say Lilith? Because Lilith had Eve, Eve bite the apple, like with her, with her wisdom and knowledge. She showed her she had it within her too. Because she got it from her creator. Her creator also put it with, installed it within her as well. We are a micro of a macro universe and universes like men in black. <laughs> oh, hell, Mike. What was it? What did he say? Oh, oh, hell. <laughs> Oh, whatever the Asian name he was, Will Smith was in that fucking movie, right? Oh, hell me. <laughs> that was funny. So, it's pretty much like that. Like, and I said that shit too. I said that shit in, on my Facebook. I was like, there's gonna be giants. There's gonna be all kind of shit you want me seeing. Fairies, aliens. You know, all kind of so-called aliens and all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? The, the, I got totally off her. But that's just what it is. So it's like, this thing is like, Riddled with guilt and fear right now. I can just tell by the look on his face. It's demeanor. But anyways, the purple and the blue, this the the dopamine, the is it dopamine? No melatonin, the melatonin, like Nightmare on Elm Street, you know what I'm saying? Fighting the dreams, spiritual world, the heaven, earth, this, this is what's going on. He said it's in the mind. So you control the mind, you control the masses. So self-control, he said... What you want is what you will get. So if you want weapons of mass destruction, you're going to give up the weapons of mass destruction. I don't see my fucking reality like that. I really see <laughs> a beautiful reality. I really see, you know, you know, there's going to be some that want to heal. There's going to be some that don't want to heal. Just like, why fucking Elon must know he should go to his ass down somewhere. <laughs> why he pulled back out of buying that fucking Twitter. He need to go fucking more, more go invest that shit into healing the fucking earth. Go and plant some motherfucking trees. Building some tiny homes against the homeless people out the fucking street. Promoting more jobs. Putting fruits, trees out on the, out in everywhere. Plants, fucking vegetables. That's what he should really go and fucking do if he knows what's best for him. That'd be the smart thing to do. The intelligent, the smart. If you want to be smart in any type of fucking way, don't be a fucking bot. He said, protect your democracy from religious dogma. <laughs> I just heard Jackie Chan. This is not a democracy. <laughs> I heard that was uh, Chris Tucker. He said, like, this is not a democracy. In rush hour.
Y'all go look at what a democracy means. What democracy means. Go look that up. Democracy. Um, protect your democracy. I'm about to go. And I think I looked that up when he said that too. And it and it really has a strong cold meaning of what he is talking about. What it derives from. And what's really going on right here and right now. So this is like a pre-warning of detriment. <laughs> what the fuck is already going on? But really, in how we can change our minds from being, you know, all this fucking violence. The shit is not normal. Uh, it should have never been normal from the beginning. I seen so crowd on my mind. Protect your democracy from religious dogma. And that's real shit. Because right now, for women that are actually fucking fighting for their families, they're trying to say, oh, you have fucking bipolar schizophrenia. They're trying to they're trying to put everybody on fucking meds right now. They're trying to lock everybody fucking up right now. They are right quite literally. That's why I was like fucking mad. I was just like, why the fuck are you doing this? Right now, you want to be locked up, but because he had some diplomatic of fuck immunity, he wants to act the ass and be a stupid fucking ass, and pretty much disown the children. Like, I understand that, but at the same time, it's just like, the children shouldn't have to suffer be my whole fucking thing <laughs> and I used to say that too like I used to be like fuck me and I would tell this to my fucking brother um Moon I'd be like fuck me shit can a nigga at least take care of his babies for my ex-husband I'd be like at least can he take care of his children fuck me he ain't got a patient for me you know, at one point, because I was like, I don't want shit from him. I want a divorce. All I want was my children because of the safety detriment of the whole situation. 